Hello everyone. We are going to set up our budget sheets for our food and for our gas and stuff because I'm going to try to keep a better eye on them. I'm not going to do it for the lawn because the lawn, this I only keep it as a cash envelope for the summer because our lawn guy doesn't come in the, in the fall. So I already have enough money in here for our lawn guy because I only pay half. So I have for July and August and I'm already starting on September. So come the end of September, I'll probably have enough in there until October. And then once he stops coming, I put this as a sinking fund and then fill it in the uh, in the winter time through the winter time. So that's the only one we're not going to set up for a budget sheet because we only got a couple more months left. So I'm just going to put that off to the side. Our food. Now this is for July. Okay, this is the category is food. We have $750 for food. There is five weeks um, in July, so we are, me and my son split the fifth week. So I put in 300, he puts in 300, and then we put an additional 75 each. So we have $750 for food for the month of July. So that's what we are starting with for the month of July. So we're going to do that. Then we're going to do the gas. We always start. This is for July also. I should have put 2020 on the other one, and I didn't. Let's just do that real quick so I don't forget. Okay. This is for gas. Every month it's $200, but we went over a little bit last month. So I think I'm going to up that about an additional $25. So we're going to do $225 for gas because the gas is going up. So hopefully we won't go through all of that for, for gas. Okay. Um, this is also for July. So it would be 2020. All right. This is going to be for household. This household is different from the money we put in, my son and I put in for the, for the actual household. This is my husband and I, for our household, there's certain things that we like that I can't see my son and daughter-in-law paying half of that because it's, they don't use it, we're the ones that use it. So that's what I use that household money for. So I'm gonna set that for $75 for the month. And then also we have personal care. This is another category that we use, me and my husband use, and my daughter, the son and daughter-in-law don't. Personal care is we use different shampoo than them. Um, we use different mouthwash than they do. They like a certain brand. We like a certain brand. So they they buy their own stuff as far as that goes. And then we buy our own stuff. So that personal care and household envelopes are just strictly for me and my husband and my other son. Because we use different stuff in the household than what they do, like certain cleaning products. I like certain cleaning products different than what they like to use. So, but the laundry detergent, all that, that comes out of the household account. They don't care what kind of laundry detergent um, that is bought. They use the same thing we do. But as far as like different cleaning things um, that they use for their bathroom that I use differently for my bathroom, then we do that. Certain things that I want to organize my bathroom or my bedroom with, with that comes out of our household budget same thing with the personal care personal care like i said with mouthwash and all that stuff we use a different brand than they do shampoos conditioners that all that that comes out of our personal care money so i'm going to set 75 dollars also 
for the personal care. Okay, and we're going to do that for that. So we have we have our food, which we are set in. We have seven hundred and fifty dollars. I'm tracking my son's food also because he wants me to track his food for the month to see how much we actually go over. I'm hoping that we don't go over the 750 because we did go over in food for June. So I'm hoping we don't go over since we have an additional $150 for July. We're hoping that, you know, $750 is more than enough for food for the month of July. So that is for for the month of July. So the food is uh, $750. I'm going to put that to the side. We have gas. I should put these in order and I didn't. I had them in order and I didn't do it that way. All right. Okay. Gas. This is strictly for my husband's truck. I upped it to $225. So it's $225 for the month of July. My husband doesn't get paid three times in July, but I'm going to throw an extra $25 in there um, for the month. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully he doesn't go over the $225 for the month of July. He did go over $40 in June, strictly because the gas is it's like a little over $2 a gallon again. And he's been doing, when he's on call, um, he has to use his own personal vehicle, but hopefully the $25, we can stay within the $225 for gas for the month of July. So we are set with that one. Household. Because I haven't really only been going out unless we absolutely need something, I'm just going to do $75 for the month of July. Because I haven't really been going anywhere. I've just been, you know, like I said, the only time I go out is when we, I'm not going to go out for one thing. If we need like four or five different things, then I'll run out, go get what we need, make sure I have a mask and make sure I have gloves and everything on wherever I go, go and get that. And I'm like in and out of the store in like within 30 minutes, $75 should be more than enough for a household for us for the month of July. And then our lastly is personal care and that I'm also set in at $75 a month. Now if I buy anything online, then this money will come out of, if I buy it for household or personal care, this money will come out of those envelopes and it will go back into my checking account because that money would come from my $100 buffer, which I would have and that would come from that. And then we would um, we put that back in if it goes for personal care or household or anything like that. But that is it. I should do one for, I ran out of budget sheets, so I'm going to have to print some more. Um, I'll do that in the next one. When I do the next video, I will show you because I'm going to keep track of my buffer also. So I'll have to print out more budget sheets. I will show you that one when I do it. And we are, because I always do a hundred dollar buffer every month. And we will keep track of how much we use from the buffer to through the month. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. If you go out, please stay safe, stay healthy. And I will catch you guys in the next video. God bless. Bye.